Shalom from Jerusalem. I'm Jonathan Hessen, and this is TV7 Editor's Note. And joining me for today's program is my dear brother in Christ and colleague, Mr. Yair Pinto. Yair, how are you today? I'm great and really excited to start the new year. Indeed. Happy New Year to you and to all of our viewers at home. Mm -hmm. And uh, before we start today's program, how about we open with prayer and then continue further from there? Definitely. Please join me back at home. Avinu Shiva Shomayim, Todalecha, Todalecha la Shana Hadasha, Todalecha la Shana Shaita. Our Father in Heaven, thank you for the new year. Thank you for the year that just passed us. We know that you have huge plans for us and for our viewers for 2022. We really want to dedicate this year to you, that you will lead us this year to new highs, new adventures. Uh, new peaks that only you have in store for us, way bigger than what uh, we have in mind and what uh, we plan for our lives because we know that walking with you is the biggest adventure that we can uh, hope for. So please lead us uh, in that uh, adventure on your wave that you will really be our guide. Bless our viewers, bless uh, Jonathan, Bless the team here in Jerusalem and bless this program. B'Shem Yeshua Mashiach. Amen. Amen, amen. All right. Um, actually, I'll uh, surprise you here because we didn't speak about this, but we'll start with the first uh, couple of verses of Psalm 91. 91, okay. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the, Om of the Almighty. His seed shall endure forever, and his throne as the sun before me. I shall be established forever like the moon, ever like the faithful witness in the sky. Selah. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Go ahead and read this in Hebrew. In Hebrew? Okay, no problem. Yeshev beseter elion, betzel shaday itlonen. Omer la Adonai machasi umetsudati, Elohai evtach bo, ki hu yetzilcham mipach yakosh, מדבר הבות, בעברתו יסח לך ותחת כנפיו תחסה, צינה וסוחרה אמתו, לא תירא מפחד לילה, מחץ יעוף יומם, מדבר באפל ילכה, מקוטב ישוד צהריים, יפול מצדך אלף ורבבה מימנך, אליך לא ייגש, רק בעיניך תביט, ושולמת רשעים תראה, כי אתה אדוני מחסי, עליון, שמת מעונך. כי לא תאונה עליך רעה, ונגע לא יקרב באוהליך. כי מלאכיו יצווה לך לשמרך בכל דרכיך, על כנפיים יסעוניך, פן תיגף באבן רגלך, על שחר ופטן תדרוך, ותרמוס כפיר ותנין, כי בי חשק ואפלטהו, ואשגבהו כי ידע שמי, יקראני ואענהו, עמו אנוכי בצרה אכלצהו ואכבדהו, אורך ימים אשביהו. I think that I read the whole thing, you but I got excited, thing. sorry. And I actually made a mistake because I went from 91 in the wrong, oh, excuse me, in the wrong direction. So uh, opposed to English where you read from left to right and Hebrew read from right to left. And this Bible has both Hebrew and uh, English in it. So the English is directed in uh, in the Hebrew way yes. in the Hebrew way so it, it was mixed but I, I'd like to touch just on the first couple of yes. verses and if you would like to follow in in your ears uh, footsteps and read the whole psalm <laughs> it is a beautiful psalm so I, I won't blame you but uh, just he who dwells in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty I will say of the Lord he is my refuge and my fortress my God in him I will trust Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in the darkness, nor of the destruction that may lay waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your right side, and 10,000 at the, uh, your right hand, mm -hmm. but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked, because you have made the Lord, who is my refuge, even the most high, your dwelling place. No evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all 
your days. It is beautiful. I went farther than I expected as well, <laughs> because this is relevant for today, of mm -hmm. course, and, and know that um, God is good and he is worthy to be praised. And therefore, when uh, we initially started, we wanted to start with Psalm 92. So I'll actually read this quickly in, in Hebrew and, and you may follow up in uh, English your ear. Uh, so Psalm 92, not far off from 91, and it says as follow. מזמור שיר ליום השבת, טוב להודות לאדוני ולזמר לשמך העליון, להגיד בבוקר חסדך ואמונתך בלילות, עלי עשור ועל עינבל, עלי היגיון בכינור, כי שימחתני אדוני בפועליך, במעשה ידיך ארנן, מה גדלו מעשיך אדוני מאוד עמקו מחשבותיך, איש בהר לא ידע וכסי לא יבין את זאת, בפרוך רשעים כמו עשב, והציצו כל פועלי אבן, להישם דם עדי עד, ועתה מרום לעולם אדוני, כי הנה אויביך אדוני, כי הנה אויביך יאבדו. יתפרדו כל פועלי אבן, ותרם כרעים קרני בלוטי בשמן רענן, ותבט עיני בשורי, בקמים עלי מרעים, תשמענה אוזני. צדיק התמר יפרח כארז בלבנון נשגה. שתולים בבית אדוני בחצרות אדו... אלוהינו יפריחו עוד ינובון בשיבה דשנים ורעננים יהיו להגיד כי ישר אדוני צורי ולא עוולת הבו. פסאם 92, פסאם, a song for the Sabbath day. It is good to give thanks to the Lord and to sing praise to your name, O Most High, to declare your love and kindness in the morning. and your faithfulness by night, with the ten-string lot and with the harp, with re resounding music upon the ire. For you, O Lord, have made me glad by what you have done. I will sing for joy at the works of your hands. How great are your works, O Lord! Your thoughts are very deep. A senseless man has no knowledge, nor does a stupid man understand this. that when the wicked uh, sprouted up like grass and all who did inquietly flourished. Iniquity. Iniquity flourished. It was only that they might be destroyed for more, forevermore. But you, O Lord, are on high forever. For behold your enemies, O Lord, for behold your enemies will perish. All who do inequity will be scattered, but you have exalted my horn like that of the wild ox. I have been anointed with, flesh or with fresh oil, and my eye has looked exaltedly upon my foes. My ears hear of the evil doors, evil doors, yeah. evil doors who rise up against me. The righteous man will flourish like the palm tree. He will grow like a cedar in Lebanon, planted in the house of the Lord. They will flourish in the courts of our God. They will still yield fruit in old age. They shall be full of sap and very green to declare that the Lord is upright. He is my rock and there is no unrighteousness in him. Amen. 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 God is good. Um, and, you know, in, in this year, as we do every year, and, and I think that uh, uh, we have done every year before uh, behind the scenes, but now we do it also in front of the scenes. Mm -hmm. um, and that is to declare that TV7 is not our own. It is of our Lord, for our Lord. And uh, this is a ministry that um, is solely dedicated to, mm -hmm. for uh, the, the service of uh, the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is something that I think we do emphasize, but not enough. God is the forefront of all uh, that we do, and, mm -hmm. and we choose to go in the narrow path that uh, is necessary. Of course, it's uh, very easy to yes, do to it in a different way. but um, not for us. Uh, so praise God for that. But 
this past year um, was quite the uh, encouragement, uh, also for me personally, but I think for the entire team, uh, where we had the opportunity to experience true growth. Uh, so the way we do it, because we are uh, a small ministry, not small in size necessarily, but small in staff, Yes, we need to calculate every penny. We need to think about every uh, thing that we do 100 times because this is God's pennies, not our own. And yeah. as such, we need to make certain that we're transparent, that we do everything in accordance with the Word of God, and that the the lack of, of funds from time to time does not hinder our progress, does not hinder yes. what the Lord has called us to do. So we are living in faith. Yeah, and also every, every time we make a development leap, we basically use our own staff in order to... To operate that and then after everybody has reached his 100% capability and sometimes you know a little bit more than that then we look for an additional person and then we you know develop more programs yep. uh-huh. so we really try to maximize our ability also by of course by trying to think of new ways to make our time more efficient as well as uh, you know training more people and figuring out more technological aspects that can save time so it's always a process of increasing the volume while lowering the cost for mm. production. Amen. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think for us here at TV7, we're not a profitable organization. Uh, mm-hmm. And this uh, may come to uh, as a surprise because of the quality of our productions, uh, which have been a blessing to so many. But uh, the reason we're not a profitable organization is because everything that we get goes into the productions <laughs> and to the development That's true. in order to serve, once again, our viewers who are, um, uh, many of whom uh, are uh, unable to support because of financial difficulties or uh, different reasons. So uh, the, the several hundred who are standing with us, who are uh, supporting us financially, um, it really allows us to bless so many more. And uh, God is truly good to know for us that our treasures lay in heaven mm-hmm. um, and that he blesses us. And praise God, we're not lacking. And, and of course, uh, uh, we are uh, also blessed here on earth to mm-hmm. to live a life and, and make sure that our families have bread on their table and, and uh, water in their drinking cups. Yeah. And a but, roof. And a roof over their heads, of course. But uh, And not everybody is privileged uh, in this uh, aspect. Uh, of course, when you go to uh, the townships in South Africa or the pavela uh, in, uh, in Brazil. South America, or uh, you go to uh, even here in Israel, you see the, the areas of uh, Kiryat Yam and, and those areas. Also not, not far away from here. In the Mashearim neighborhood, Correct. that a few Correct. families live in one small apartment. Indeed, or the old city where That's families true. of 11 live in one room. Yeah. People are lacking. And, and of course, we are seeing the whole chain um, crisis uh, of commodities going around the world. Yes. There are different difficulties. Uh, there is an energy crisis Price. coupled with it and uh, different challenges that are challenging humanity as a whole and uh, a certain world order is being challenged right now Mm -hmm. with a strategic power competition between the forces um, that seek to dominate or to dictate dominance Mm -hmm. uh, of worldly events, uh, we can look and spectate as believers and see that uh, we need to pray for our leaders. We need to pray for our surroundings. We need to proactively support our surroundings, uh, whether it be um, fiscally, if it's possible, but also uh, to do so in in with kind words, with love, mm-hmm. you know, by our love they will towards recognize each, us, each yeah. other, we will be recognized. Mm-hmm. And if they cannot make the connection, we can make it for them. So <laughs> ultimately, God is good, and uh, he really allows us to utilize all the tools at our disposal to make a difference for his namesake. But this year has um, new horizons. Yes. Uh, Of course, as you said, we always make leaps. Then we take a short uh, period of of time, a short Mm -hmm. gap to try and uh, figure out, okay, how do we 
get everything that we just created together with what we already had mm -hmm. into the highest quality possible within uh, the, the constraints of what we have. And then we, uh, once that happens and we're able to reach a yeah. certain level of, of quality that uh, is uh, satisfactory, mm -hmm. uh, at least at this stage, we move to the next projects and then we make mm -hmm. a leap of usually three, four programs a year. 2019 was a year of, of multiple programs, 2020, 2021, uh, and now 2022 yeah. is it's it's amazing. exciting yeah, to yeah. see where the Lord is going to allow I us to I can't wait have. to see what really God uh, will open up. Uh, and as you said, yes, we are always making this leap and then everybody's like working very, very hard to get to the highest level, to learn the systems, to get the structure uh, ready in order to do these new programs. And then we figure out the best way to do it, level the, the playing field, mm. and then we do it again. So that's how we do it. And, you know, as you said uh, in la last week's program, we have uh, the footsteps of Jesus. We have a program about the uh, borders of Israel, which are two programs that are outdoors. So this is a new playing ground for us. And we're really excited because we need, you know, new, new technical equipment for that. We'll need uh, uh, our staff to be more equipped with how to film outdoors, maybe getting additional staff or training our own staff. So there's a few ways of doing that that we're still researching. But uh, I believe that this will really, you know, be an impactful two programs because we are here in Jerusalem and we believe that we should bring the outdoors and the streets of Jerusalem and the areas where Jesus walked and the borders of this country to you guys back at home, to the viewers, so that you can feel part of what is happening in Israel. And uh, why is that? Because what is happening in Israel is on God's heart and is an example for God's faithfulness for our viewers back at home. Um, I think this is a good example and a good time, Jonathan, for maybe to you to reiterate our, our vision and uh, what is basically the reason that we do all of our programs? And I know that uh, Psalm 122 is the, the verse for that. So maybe you can give a few words and then read it. Absolutely. Uh, I, I think there, there are three points or there's three um, uh, verses that uh, are somewhat of a foundation to everything that we do mm -hmm. here. Uh, and uh, obviously, Psalm 122 is is uh, a psalm that really allows us to to focus on this city where you and I were born, where we grew up, and and uh, which is very dear to the heart of the Lord. Mm -hmm. uh, and it doesn't mean that this city is free of contention. Mm -hmm. I think it's the most contentious city I've ever visited. I feel it when I leave Jerusalem on a vacation that there is like some kind of a spiritual battle is like I don't feel it but when I come back then I feel like kind of there is always something in the spirit that there is always battles going absolutely. on here in Jerusalem. Absolutely but uh, therefore we we have the opportunity to really as um, brothers and sisters in Christ as, as uh, the body around the world to join together in in prayer for a city that we have, many have come to love. Um, mm -hmm. I always say it's a love and hate relationship. Uh, even though I don't hate the city, um, there is many, there are many things here that I abhor and, and that should be rectified over time um, and are not in line with the word of God. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. when we pray, we also pray for those things. Uh, obviously, there are uh, challenges and, and there's an ongoing physical and spiritual battle over the, the Temple Mount, for instance, uh, the place uh, where the peak of Mount Moriah, where uh, the Holy of Holies was subsequently built upon, uh, was the point where uh, our Heavenly Father made the promise to Abraham mm -hmm. uh, that uh, uh, has brought about so many other consequences over the centuries that, mm -hmm. that occurred since then. But uh, let, let's start with Psalm 122. Mm -hmm. Okay. Telim Kuf Kaf Bet. Shira Ma'alot Le David. Samachti Ba'umrim Li Beit Adonai Nelech. 
עומדות היו רגלינו בשערייך ירושלים, ירושלים הבנויה כעיר שחוברה לה יחדיו, ששם עלו שבטים שבטי יה, עדות לישראל, להודות לשם אדוני, כי שמה ישבו כיסאות למשפט, כיסאות לבית דוד, שאלו שלום ירושלים, ישאלוהו אוהבייך. יהי שלום בחילך, שלווה בארמונותייך. למען אחי ורעי אדברה נא, שלום בך, למען בית אדוני אלוהינו, אבקשה טוב לך. We'll go into the English and then um, communicate that as well. A song of a sense of David. I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Our feet have been standing within your gates of Jerusalem. Jerusalem is built as a city that is compact together where the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord, to the testimony of Israel, to give thanks to the name of the Lord for thrones are set there for judgment. the thrones of the house of David. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May they prosper who love you. Peace be within your walls, prosperity within your palaces. For the sake of my brethren and companions, I will now say, peace be within you. Because of the house of the Lord, our God, I will seek your good. Amen. Amen. Um, just a couple of uh, points. Shalva means uh, inner peace, mm-hmm. but uh, the, the inner peace that the Lord grants. And the, the verse 6 says, Yishlayu, o havaich. Not from Shalva, but Yishlayu, uh, which also highlights the, the peace of the Lord to... those who love, those who love Jerusalem. Jerusalem. So uh, when it says in, in English, and I've seen this in, in many different translations, also in different languages, um, the most accurate actually, ironically, to the Hebrew language from mm-hmm. all the, the languages that I, I try to study in, uh, uh, with regard to the Old Testament is Arabic. Really? Okay. So that's the most accurate la- translation to uh, specifically uh, the Old Testament. But uh, if you look here, it says in Psalm 6, Sha'alu Shlom Yerushalem, mm-hmm. the old name of Jerusalem, where uh, it says, ask peace for Jerusalem. Yishlayu Ohavaych, those who love you will receive the inner peace of, of God. God. And then it continues, Yehi Shalom Bechelaych, may there be peace within your sanctuaries, Shalva uh, Be'omonataych, again, the peace of the Lord, Shalva, uh, the, the tranquility of the Lord uh, in, uh, within your walls. Now, it, mm-hmm. it's more than just peace. It's more than prosperity. Prosperity, you immediately think about materialistic things. Sure. No, it is the peace of the Lord that will be a blessing for you. And then it continues to verse 8, Leman Achai Vere'ai, for the sake of my brothers, the physical brothers that we're talking about, okay, mm-hmm. blood uh, brothers, Relatives. Vera'ai, and uh, those who are close to my heart, Adabra mm-hmm. Nashalom Bach, I will speak peace to you, yeah. not uh, in, in just mm-hmm. for you, no, to, to you, you, I will speak peace. And for the sake of the house of the Lord, our God, Avaksha Tov Lach, I will ask yeah. that good will be given to you. It's amazing. So it's not just like praying for the peace. It's more demanding it, asking it, seeking it. It's more an active prayer for the peace of Jerusalem. And it's not the, the physical treasures that yes. prosperity um, is, uh, is at least interpreted from mm-hmm. those words. No, it is the prosperity of spiritual um, tranquility or, or spiritual peace that, that will fill you and will grant you um, uh, something so much more valuable Definitely. than all the treasures that this world has to offer. And that's why when we really 
look at the the Hebrew side of things, of course, the various languages that our viewers at home read, each one in his own language, it is frustrate, uh, frustrating uh, for many people, I understand. Um, I remember I spoke about the fact that, uh, you know, in, in one conference, I, I raised the subject of the, the serpent. Yeah. Uh, when uh, Moses and Aaron came in front of Pharaoh uh, and uh, God told Moses, take the staff of Aaron and throw it on uh, the ground in front of Pharaoh, um, who was at the time uh, declaratively perceived as Sobek, the god of the crocodiles or alligators. Alligator, yeah. And the, the staff was interpreted, what it turned into as a serpent, as a snake later in other mm -hmm. translations. Mm -hmm. And you saw the various beautiful pictures painted in the Renaissance and, and different things about this parable with so many snakes. And, but this was an occurrence of the show of the hand of God because it turned into a tanin. Tanin yeah. in Hebrew means alligator. Crocodile, alligator. Yes. So there is a lot of um, misinterpretation. So somebody came up to me and asked me, okay, Jonathan, what do we do? And I said, I don't know, <laughs> but pray that the Lord will guide you. Pray that the Lord will grant you a clear understanding of how to deal with the Word of God. But um, we do not have very much time, mm -hmm. unfortunately, and I'd like to go through every single <laughs> psalm of this uh, uh, magnificent Word that the Lord has granted us. But I'd like also to highlight that as you partner with us, as you stand with us, as you pray for us, ask God for the peace of Jerusalem. Ask God to stand with this city and love this city, love uh, what it represents, because the point of the promise of God to our forefather Abraham is that same promise that ultimately and consequently brought about the seed of David, mm -hmm. and uh, that is our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, which, uh, who was the the manifestation of God on earth, and He was alive back then, He's alive and still now. is alive now. So, Pierre, thank you for being part of today's program. My pleasure. Thank you all at home as well. God bless you, and Happy New Year. We'll see you again next time.